Hello Creeps Freaks and Makeup Geeks, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today's video is my creepy clown makeup look, very much inspired by Pink Stylist most recent clown video. If you don't know who he is, he is an absolutely amazing makeup artist, he is super talented at what he does, I love all of his work, love and faces, he is amazing. So I will link his video and his channel in the description box below if you've somehow never heard of him before. This is the second video that I have filmed that I accidentally left the microphone off. So, um, whoops. <laughs> I'm not going to waste the footage though because I was really proud of how this turned out. So instead, it just has another crappy voiceover and we're just going to have to deal with it. Just focus on the video instead and it'll be fine. The first step of this look that is not included in the video is I blocked out my eyebrows. I did this so I would be able to paint over them um, and conceal them because I didn't want my killer clown to have eyebrows. I will link a little tutorial that I made up here before this video to show you how to do that. It just made this video a little bit quicker rather than having to do it again. So I don't think I have much else to say, um, I hope you guys like the video, if you do be sure to click like and subscribe if you haven't already, I post tutorials on glam and gore, I do some makeup challenges, there are prosthetic pieces coming and hauls such like that, so yeah, hope you guys like this video and with that being said let's get straight into it. To start this look off, I will first be drawing in the creepy grin that my clown is going to have. So these dots I was putting in here were kind of just a reference of where I wanted the mouth to go to. For this, I was using my Color Culture Duo Eye Crayon, just using the black side. Thankfully, this wipes away quite easily, so there's no like major hassle if it comes to having to wipe any away, which I did. I had to do the whole mouth again, but you only get to see the good take of this. What I missed out of the previous clip was me drawing in the teeth, but the mirror was in front of my face anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Pretty self-explanatory, I'm just drawing in a bunch of little triangular teeth. Mine were in no way even or realistic in any way to actual human teeth, but as I made a comment in the video, not that you could hear it, I very much doubt a killer clown goes to the dentist and has perfect immaculate teeth, so it doesn't really matter, it looked cool anyway. Once I had drawn all my teeth in, it came to colouring them. For this, I used my 11 Ever Flash Cream Palette, obviously using the white, which I seem to have difficulty finding, and an incredibly small brush because I drew my teeth really, really small. Don't do that. Don't know why I did. So basically, I just started to paint these in, and what I was trying to explain here was that it doesn't really matter if you go over your drawn lines because I'm going to fill the rest of the mouth in with black anyway. The rest of me talking is probably just waffle, so here you go. I'm just painting in teeth. Once I painted all the teeth, which I continued off camera, I went back into my flash palette, this time using the black, to fill in the rest of the mouth. This is where I sort of had to be careful, so I used a slightly wider brush to paint the edges. As you can sort of see in this clip when the mirror's not in the way, and then went back into my teeny tiny brush to outline the teeth. It doesn't matter if you get a little bit of black over the white, but obviously you kind of want to keep the teeth visible, which, as I said, by the end of the night they weren't visible anymore. This black smudged all over them, but hey ho. Once the paint had dried, I then took my Marvelous Matte palette and I was going to use this to set the look in place. So obviously I use cream paints and they do stay sticky. Um, I don't know whether they're meant to dry, but mine do not. So I was going to use this little white shade here on a teeny tiny brush to set the teeth in place just so they wouldn't smudge around too much. Once I finished setting the white, I then took the matte black from that palette in a flat brush and once again 
began to set the cream paint in place. What you can't really see in this clip is that I also dragged this colour over the end teeth, like at the edges of the mouth, and kind of over the gums a little bit as well, just to attempt to give it a bit more of a 3D look. Next I went back in with a teeny tiny brush and my 11 Ever Bruise Wheel this time using the darkest red shade and a little bit of a lighter one to draw in some looks of this character. As you can see I'd kind of already drawn them in with pencil so I was just filling them in and then giving him a nice shade of lipstick. Once I finished drawing the lips, I went back in with a tiny brush and my white cream paint and kind of added some dashed lines across the lips, trying to add a sort of more 3D, kind of cartoonish, light flare little look, but it didn't turn out very well. It's an area I need to work on is shading and highlighting, but hey hoodles! Once I had finished on the mouth it was time to start on the eyes so I took my cream palette again and the black and used this to colour in around the eye area. As you can see there are already some dots around my eyes. I used my eye crayon again to draw in some reference points where I wanted the triangles to go. However as you'll see at the end of the look this didn't really turn out at all. Mainly because as you can see here I am applying my cream paint. But the circles that I drew around my eyes just kept getting bigger and bigger. As I explained in the video, you know, the one without the audio, it was because I have a tendency to draw in a circle and then not like it or to kind of go out of the lines a bit. So let's make it bigger and bigger and it just looks a little bit ridiculous and I end up looking like a panda no matter what the look is meant to be. However, in this look it didn't turn out too badly at the end so I'm not really complaining. Also, I hadn't yet applied my foundation. That was because the way I wanted to blend the foundation and cream paint together, for me, it made more sense to put the foundation over the cream paint rather than the cream paint over the foundation. It's just the way I found the two different materials mix, that was the method that worked best for me. I'm not going to waffle on because this is just a very, very long clip of me turning myself into a panda. So here, enjoy this. The foundation I used this look was my Revolution Pro Full Coverage Camouflage Foundation. I was also pointing out here that the arm that I clean my brushes off on, I always end up looking like a piece of graffiti work. So obviously as I said, I want to use my foundation after the cream paint to blend the two together, and I waffle on an awful lot in this clip. So basically I was just saying that I'm going to be careful not to blend it too close to the mouth, hence why I was using a disposable sponge because that has a sharper edge. And at this point, I stopped and realised I'm going to get this in my hair, what little hair I have, so I stopped to put a bandana thing on. I swear at some point I do get into blending it into my uh, actual face. Wait for it. Wait for it. Finally! Basically I just finished doing this till my entire face was covered with foundation. Because that's how makeup works. <laughs> And after blending, I had a very serious case of smoky eye. For some reason, in real life, this black cream paint kind of looked blue. Not 100% sure what happened there, but it looked cool either way. So next, I went back in with my duo eye crayon, this time to draw in the triangles above and below the eyes. To 
took me ages to figure out what the hell was going on in this clip. Basically, I was just explaining how I was going to draw in some like wrinkles and creases around the mouth because obviously that adds expression. It didn't turn out great. Basically, I went back into my cream palette and took the brown and what you want to do is draw in a line, like a straight sharp line around where you want it to be and then blend it away. So you have one side is nice and clean and one side is smudged. That's supposed to give the impression of like a skin fold. Mine didn't turn out great, I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing, but you get the idea. As you can see, the facial creases didn't turn out perfectly, but they looked alright. So here what I was doing was deciding to draw in a clown nose. I hadn't planned this, but it sort of just came to me that I wanted to do it. So first of all, I took the bright red from my flash cream palette and just drew in the little circle of the nose. And then I went back into the bruise wheel and used the same dark burgundy red that I used on the lips and kind of added some shading and blending with that. And then at the very end, I took my teeny tiny brush and my white and added little light reflections on those as well. So on the makeup side of things, this was the look pretty much complete. I just wanted to add a bit of a costume, and for this I used some old bandage that I wrapped around my head. Not like this, I was just demonstrating the difficulty. Um, basically, I don't have a bald cap and I didn't really want my hair on show, so I thought some bandages would look like a pretty cool, creepy little look to do with my clown. So I did go do this properly, I swear. You'll be happy to know that the next clip finally has audio as well. Because Dum Dum here remembered to turn on the microphone at last. So I only just realised that I recorded this entire thing with the microphone off. Anyways, so um, a shirt, a sparkly little waistcoat and head bandage later and I think this look is pretty much done. There is just one thing missing because it would not be an Undertaker video without blood. And you may be thinking to yourself, but where? Where is the blood? Well, the blood is, is not coming out of the bottle. Give me a second. Hang on. These bandages are never going to be used again, apart from by me for makeup, so time to ruin them. And I think this look is done. So if you guys like this video, with my wonderful voiceover that I'm now going to have to record, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, click subscribe for more content, follow me on Instagram, there will be more pictures of this on there. Ciao. I really wish I had like contact lenses because this would be so much better.